Yeah, I can. Okay, we'll do that in a minute. Great. Alright. I just want to make sure we didn't, like, miss him or something. You can do it after you, you do the first artifact mission with Sarah. Okay. Consider this posting a punishment. Oh, what a lovely view of the Martian sky. Frankly, I'm a bit surprised to find such a delightful spot in this rather dry city. Leeches in the engine, leeches on the hall, <laughs> leeches in the scrap drive. Suppose that would explain the brownouts. There you go, you got him. Woo! Job. Got him, Fine. chat. It's okay. Thank you for showing me the focus laser beam. Holy crap, it's so good. My pleasure, buddy. My pleasure. Gabriel, oh, the focus laser, holding right click on the laser beam. Yep. My buddy Mitch keeps asking if I can help him out with something, but I just don't have the time. Stay away from the sixth circle unless you're a miner. Sorry. Right. Please, don't come cry what to me if mean? anything There's happens no to you. Yeah, do you have any idea how far we've traveled? How much money we spent to hitch a ride to this dusty red rock? We were told there were jobs. Look, 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 I get it. But we just filled our last openings. I think we have a couple contracts ending at the end of next month. Possible, they may not extend. This is bullshit. This is bullshit. Chat, it's bullshit. Hey. Hey. Hello, traveler. Oh, Will you oh. I understand. May the speak with Trevor. A little sanitation mini bot. Beep boop. All right, that one's clean. Excuse me, sir. Got to check my turlets. Out of boots. Any local rumors? Plenty. But Rabbit Baby randomly walks into my bar. No one would ever tell me anything around here. You don't do this job for 45 years by losing your customer's trust. I won't spill anything to anyone. Promise. You're right. Because I'm not telling you jack shit. Now you'd be wise to stick a beer in your mouth and mind your own damn business because I don't put up with this sort of drama. Man, I gotta start using that line with chat. Chat, you better put a beer in your mouth and get it through your damn head. We don't do drama here. Okay. Looking for a vanguard named Moara. You ain't been around. Went off on patrol. Hasn't been back in since. We're starting to think it might be time to pour one out to the blackest sea. Not about to leave a brave soldier behind. Help us find him. Wait, the blackest sea? You got another word for it? He means out of space. Ma'am. <laughs> Thank you. I'm not about to leave a brave soldier behind. Help us find him. You in the service? I know the feeling, but uh, you just get so used to losing people. Look, nothing more I'd love than to help out a fellow Martian. Especially one that's missing. But... <clears throat> He has a tab, and you don't know if he's coming back. It's a lot of credits, okay? I let it slide for a long time because he's a regular, but 
If I'm out all that money, I've got problems. What do you say? What do you say? You tell me where he is. So he can pay his tab. I need a way to make cash. You got any work? I got a board here in the bar where people post all kinds of spacefaring jobs. Way to make quick money. Mm. Nope. Huh. Life on Sedonia ain't hard enough. You gonna guilt trip me? Yep. I want you to imagine out there alone, and here you are, holding out for cash. I want him fat. I do. No. All right. I you do. did. Just trying to earn a living. You here. did. Last time he was here, Moera kept yelling about the lady of love, singing songs, and all that kind of thing. Venus. That's only one planet. Hardly an entire patrol route. I forgot what I got, okay? <sighs> Fine. We'll make Koanu it. Koanu Reeves, that's right. I know space food. To Mars, they say. The bay is great, they say. So Alright, let's see. What's up? What is this area? Boo, 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 boo. Ugh, what do people put these poor engine parts through? What is even over here? I love low gravity. Love it. Careful near the railings on the upper levels. It's a long way down. Ain't you brave coming to see a bona fide tracker? Hey, darling. You look I, like the type who doesn't mind getting their hands dirty. I like the getting my hands dirty. can always use more bounty hunters to round up and kill wanted criminals. If that feels like your speed, talk to me or check out our posts on the mission boards. I want to see if there was a bounty on my head. Oh, darling, a bounty on you. That is quite the pickle you've gotten yourself into. Huh. This ain't a normal bounty. Looks like someone's paying ecliptic and paying them good. But don't worry, sugar, I got you. For 3,000 creds, I can make sure your sheet's as clear as a summer night on Parima. No. Of course. I can remove the trait? I don't want to do here. that. Huh. Got any good bounty hunting stories? Should I tell you? Ah, uh, what the hell? It got me in trouble, but it's a good story. So, I got a bounty for this guy. Real tough spacer, you know? I find a ship, bored without him knowing, and I literally catch him with his pants down, getting ready for the day or something, I don't know. Anyway, before he can react, I tackle him to the ground to cuff him, and he lets off a sly quip, thinking he's got game, but I don't take kindly to that kind of advance. See? And well, Bounty says alive or dead, so I make the call and I put him down. Anyway, turns out it wasn't the right guy, but this guy was also wanted. What are the odds, right? Well, the Alliance didn't think it was as funny as I did, so now I'm stuck here helping new recruits. He was handcuffed and then he made an, an advance and then she shot him. <laughs> she's straight she's like yeah so he was handcuffed on the ground no threat to me but he made a, a bad advance so you know i made the call and put him down damn girl um i'm looking for bounty hunting work so you're fixing to take yourself on a little bounty hunt well look no further than the wow. broken spear the trackers alliance post jobs on the mission board over there big old console can't miss it now look much as I'm itching to get back out there and take down wanted marks on my own, I can't help you any more than that. So, don't come crying to me if you can't hack it. You hear? Oh, I feel like she'd make a. I feel like she'd make a fun um, companion. <laughs> Bye. That's too Hope bad. I never have to kill you. Someone should make her a, a usable companion. Look at this place. 
I can't imagine. Cydonia residential. Hydration is required. Oh. I'm working on hydrating, girl. Thank you. The miners have a secret about something they call the heart of Mars. I overheard it's hard one of them talking work. about it in their small season. Layla, I think the hard was. work down in the mines. The heart of Mars? Hmm. What a long day. New to Sidonia? <laughs> Hope you like sand. If you need a quiet spot to think, the community center is a good place. Can you tell me about yourself? I lived a pretty quiet life to start, but the quieter things got, the more noise I made. Got into trouble, did the whole teenage rebellion to her, that sort of thing. <laughs> Dad used to say I was made reckless by boredom, but I think he deserves some of the credit. Oh, there's a there's a quest from the bounty hunter chick? I will definitely do that. Okay. What brings you to the community center? I came to do a little good old fashioned soul searching. You'd think it'd be easy to find given it's my soul, <laughs> but nope. Turns out it's a lot harder than it looks. Okay. See ya. A reminder Faith in the greatness and ingenuity of the human spirit is what the hours of 600 and 800. Hey, Jane. Oh, sit down. Yes, ma'am. It gets old or busted. Hi, welcome to Jane's. Sidonia's only 100% independent one stop shop. I apologize if I'm a little distracted. I'm currently dealing with a little issue, but please let me know if there's anything I can get for you. Whoa, Kiathab, why? If you didn't know, when you run with your scanner on, a blue outline on people usually means they have something to say or a quest. Oh, must be hard work. Maybe it can help. You have no idea. Every time I feel like I'm getting ahead, something happens to knock me back down. Good tip, but thank you. Unless you're some sort of merc, I'm not sure you can help. See, I saved up to get a new ship and hire a pilot. He was supposed to help run deliveries and bring in all sorts of new goods, but he went missing. I can't find anyone willing to track him down. I'm worried something bad has happened. What do you think happened to him? I'm not sure. I'm hoping it's something simple, like he ran out of fuel. It's an older ship and it may have had a minor leak, but I know there's a problem with pirates out there. This was Eric's first real piloting job and I'm worried they could tell he was easy pickings or something. Could just be my overactive imagination. I'll do it. Really? I mean, thank you. I know it's a lot of trouble, but it'll mean a lot to me. I'll try to compensate you as best I can when you bring back Eric and my ship. It's a cargo runner called the Berry Mule. The last signal I got from him was out near Triton. It's a starting place, at least. And try to bring them both back in one piece. Just because the governor's office is right out there on the main level doesn't mean it's not secure. Hmm. I don't know about that blue outline thing. I don't think all these people have things to say. Yeah, I don't know about that. <laughs> Somebody in chat goes, so many quests! <laughs> I don't think that's quite accurate. The Red Devils used to train here on Mars. Imagine being part of that. If you can tough it out on Mars, you can tough it out anywhere. Word of advice, don't mess with Marines. Don't worry, we good. I ain't messing with any Marines. This place reminds me of my UC Navy training barracks. Cold, cramped, and... <laughs> offensive. Mars of all places. Oh my god, that works. Sort of. Okay. We'll be ready in case there's a Oh, I want that digi pick. Might want to head on over to Reliance. 
Dr. Flynn will get you patched up. Huh. Tampering with a certified Thanos mining robot is forbidden. Is that a magazine on the table? No, it was a folder. I checked it too. Layla! Ah, uh, didn't think we had any new miners on account Boot of the position doom. being full up. I'm a miner, just not here. Don't worry, I'm not here to take your job. Oh, I wasn't worried. Concerned, maybe. Because we haven't had any positions open for a while. And some friends of mine were turned away recently. I just want to make sure nothing funny was going on. Anyway, I'm Layla. Hey, Layla. When I'm not mining, I'm tinkering with Gnome, our unofficial mascot. I feel that computer brain appears with all sorts of nonsense and announcements. Of course, if you're here to chat, I'm always happy to talk shop. Especially if you're interested in talking about the heart of Mars. I am very interested. Got to get mining tips? <laughs> very funny. Who sent you to ask? Was it Rivka? No, she seems to know what she's doing. I bet it was Hank, wasn't it? He always acts like he's top dog, but we all know he couldn't mine his way out of a wet paper bag. Wow. Mm. Oh, no one sent me. Just asking miner to miner. Hmm, yes. I remember that about you. You must work for a rival company. Well, if you think I'm going to divulge trade secrets, you've got another thing coming. I didn't know that, Agamir. No, don't worry. I won't report you to management. We've all been there. But I'm not going to help you either. I like this job. I don't have any intention of losing it over something like this. You mentioned something about the heart of, heart of Mars. I'd like to know more. Oh, so you're interested in the heart of Mars, are you? Word is there's a cave out in the Martian ways with a gleaming node of the purest titanium ore you've ever seen. It's worth quite a lot of credits. But some say the heart of Mars is cursed. Hundreds have gone in search of it, never to return. And every one of them met a grisly fate. Maybe, just maybe. You could be the first to succeed, though. You know, if you think you got what it takes. No judgment if you're too scared. Why haven't you tried it? Fair question. I'm not really the adventurous type, to be honest. And frankly, I don't need the money. So, I don't really feel the need to involve myself with the prospect of a potentially deadly cursed chunk of titanium. I think that's fair. Sounds kind of far-fetched, but I'm willing to check it out. I know cursed rocks and all. I don't know for sure if it's really cursed, but... It's probably still dangerous out there, so be careful. I'll give you location of the cave. Good luck. Okay. Caution. already. particle detonation imminent. Be advised to secure loose articles and find stable ground or remain seated in the event of unforeseen tremors. Detonation occurs in five, four, three, two, one. Mining to resume takes all activities. Young upstarts, former military, ex cops. If you can lift the tool. Error. Reading procedure. The office of Governor Hurst would like to remind all Sidonian citizens to do their part to keep Sidonian. Am I playing up very hard? I am. to explore. I'm going to pretend you didn't just steal. Hey, what, Sarah? Steal what? what? Sarah, best remember, snitches and stitches. You know. Yeah. Sometimes 
Sometimes I wish I had taken an easier job. Okay. Hey, there was someone else to talk to here. Trevor. Welcome, nice to meet you. Name's Trevor, mining director for the Deimos Mining Project here in scenic underground Sidonia. I could spare a minute or two to chat, so long as you're not looking for mining work, I suppose. I'm looking for mining work. What's with the klaxons and the detonation announcement? Oh, that! Oh, nothing to worry about. We do fracking on Mars with subterranean particle detonations. Those announcements are just to let people know when to expect it. Now, you probably felt the rumble when the detonations actually go off. That's all it is. Not too bad, eh? Oh, no worries if that's all it is. Fracking with subterranean particle detonations, what's that? Hmm. Basically, it's high-tech mining. We use immensely powerful controlled particle detonations deep underground to loosen up subterranean gases and other difficult to gather resources so we can harvest them. Sounds way more dangerous than it is, probably. Actually, it's still pretty dangerous if you don't know what you're doing. <laughs> oh, no worries at all, that's what it is. Yeah, no worries, mate. I can totally see how it'd be odd if you're not used to it. Just sit down or be sure you're within reach of something to hold on to. If the quaking makes you uneasy, you'll be fine. I used to do mining work for Argos. I was hoping you'd have work, but it doesn't sound like it. Argos, huh? Yeah, I've heard of them. That's great. But, yeah, unfortunately, all our mining contracts are filled right now. Unless, maybe you could help me out with a job. Off the books. Oh, Trevor. Oh, I think so. Great! I promise it's nothing that'll get anyone in any kind of trouble. See, you might have noticed that our equipment ain't exactly holding together like it used to. Problem is, we can't get new equipment unless we start exceeding our quotas. And we can't do that until we get new equipment. A real dilemma, right? I've got a plan for solving our little problem, though. Jobin says, how would you compare this to Star Citizen? Uh, I wouldn't. Sure, tell me the plan. Okay, glad you're still on board. First, I need someone from the outside to bolster our yields so we can prove that we can exceed our quota. Okay. I'll fill you in on the rest of the details after you've hauled up some ore. One standard quota should do. I need to know I can trust you with the easy stuff first. Okay. Yeah, there's there's really no comparison to Star Citizen. I mean, Star Citizen is basically a pre-alpha. It's a bunch of ideas. Many of them not even like properly or fully implemented. So you can't, you can't, I mean, you're literally asking, comparing a finished product to what's essentially a glorified tech demo. I mean, there's no, there's no real comparison. Sure, I'll do it. When you've got enough, drop it off in the bin over there for processing. Then come see me. The city of Sidonia is proud to be a pillar of support for the United Colonies. And for the record, just to be clear, I'm not I'm not saying that to, to like poop on Star Citizen. That's just that's just the reality of the situation. Yeah. Okay. One day I'll find something. Not supposed to talk to you. Why not? Do yourself a favor and just go. Okay. I know we'll come back and talk to you later. Mitch Benjamin. One is a good place to connect with others. So I need to actually just bring this dude iron? Mars is ripe with resources, which means there's always going to be plenty. I hope the family's good. I haven't seen them on stream for a few times. Oh, I mean, they're they're on vacation right now. Yeah. <laughs> We're doing great. Fantastic. Hey. 
Haven't seen you around here before. Just move in. Uh, just drop by because I heard you needed help. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Word gets around, I guess. <laughs> well, if you got a way to get off world, then maybe you can. I found out recently that my favorite book series, Dragon Star Force, had a very limited initial run. I really want to collect all the first editions, but it's hard for me to get them shipped all the way out here. I already tracked down volume one. Could you go buy it and bring it back here for me? I I'll pay you back, of course. Plus, you know, extra for your trouble. Sure. What are they about? They're these old science fiction fantasy books about space and uh, good versus evil and a mysterious magical relic called the Dragon Star. Yeah, there's this team of heroes who fight space wizards, and dragons, demons, and you know, whoever else seeks to take over the galaxy using the Dragon Star. I'm in. You will? Wow, you're the first person to actually agree to do it. <laughs> Thanks. Well, like I said, I'll make it worth it to you. You won't regret it. I'm in. Okay. Anything else we need to do here? Oh, oh, we gotta go talk to the bounty lady, and then I think we'll go do some more uh, main questicles. Who is feeding me when Lane is off vacation? Um, lots of local paid food areas around me. Yeah, I, I get a lot of takeout. I'm gonna actually go out and get like a chicken salad tonight because I've, you know, been eating nothing but garbage for a long time. Do you need any help? Well, I hope you never need it, but come to me if you need medical attention. <sighs> Let me guess. You're here because you were working a cutter. Accidentally Somebody said something about, off, um, need me to reattach it again. a plus 50 carry weight thing? Where, where is that? No, how often does that happen? I'm here to talk. Well, that's a relief. You'd be surprised. Happens at least once or twice a week. <sighs> Sorry. I tend to think the worst, since the overwhelming majority of my patients come here to treat entirely preventable accidents. I know it's my job to help people, and I love doing it, but I do wish they'd be a little more careful down in the mines. It's weightlifting one? Lynn, oh. What can I do for you today? Okay, that's not what they were talking about. All right. Um, you seem annoyed. Are you okay? Bollocks. Is that how I come off now? Ah, oh, work's getting to me, I suppose. It's just... You see, no one on this bloody planet seems to follow basic safety precautions. It's always, Dr. Flynn, reattach me arm, or help me with this frostbite. Well, maybe if you took the time to properly dress yourself for the outside, you wouldn't be losing your fingers, you Egypt. Sorry for the rant, just, just for a change, I'd rather be treating the common cold and not some horrific yet entirely preventable accident. Oh my god. Why do you open a practice elsewhere? Ah, uh, you know, I've been saying that going on 10 years now. You think I'd take me own advice? Open up me own practice on a nice, safe world. Maybe settle down with someone. I'd be much happier, for sure. But the truth is, the pay is exceptional here. And all these careless idiots keep me busy. Idiots! Maybe it's enough <laughs> to stay with it and retire early instead. Okay. Why do you think there's so many accidents? I've often wondered why myself. I've got some theories. From what I hear, the equipment's supposedly not in the best shape. So that's yeah, Immortal, what quest is that? But I also happen to know the miners can get very competitive since their bonuses are determined by how well they exceed their quotas. So that leads to a bunch of meatheads oh, going oh, out of their oh. way to avoid following safety precautions and taking shortcuts to squeeze out a little extra job performance. It's bollocks. That's, that's what the, it is. That's the quest line that we come back here for. The, the pick-me-up is the drug that we go down and we... Okay, okay. Yeah, we, we did that last run. We'll do that Stay this one healthy. for sure. What, what quest line brought us here for that? We, that, that's, we gotta come back here at one point and like look for, um, I think it's a UC quest line. That's UC, yeah. Please talk to the little girl in the hallway. The little girl in the hallway. Where is, where is the little girl in the hallway? Down here? 